Hi, my name is Joyce Chu. I'm an assistant professor here at Palo Alto University. Uh, I also had the Ethnic Minority Mental Health Group that I'm going to tell you about today. Uh, I also play another role in that I direct the Diversity and Community Mental Health Program, uh, so I can also answer any questions about that. In the Ethnic Minority Mental Health Group, the, our lab is focused around uh, the overall goal of decreasing mental health care and mental health disparities among ethnic minority underserved groups. We specialize, we have a subspecialty in Asian Americans, although students with other interests in other ethnic minority groups like Russian Americans or Latinos um, have also found a home and a place to explore their research interests in EMH. I also have subspecialties in geriatrics uh, and in mood disorders and depression, like depression and suicide. So you'll see that a lot of the, um, r the projects that students are involved in will focus around those subspecialties as well. Um, some examples of projects that students might be in, have been involved in are, for example, um, looking at ethnic and gender differences on um, emotion coping, specifically rumination and social supports um, as related to depression. Uh, another student is looking at the concept of hidden ideation, which is the phenomenon that Asian Americans are less likely to report suicidal ideation to their health care or mental health care providers. Uh, and trying to actually um, capture that um, with a, a pretty unique methodology. Um, other students are um, looking at the help-seeking behaviors and barriers uh, to help-seeking among Asian Americans with suicide, which has actually been um, quite understudied um, in the literature. And uh, an example of a student who's looking at a non-Asian American group is uh, someone who is looking at acculturation and family conflict among former Soviet refugees. In terms of expectations of students in the group, we meet either bi-weekly or weekly, uh, depending on the year in the group. Uh, in your second year, you would be doing an independent research project where my goal is for everybody to present at a professional conference and also to, uh, to write a paper for journal publication together uh, and to have that happen in your entire second year uh, if the data works out. And then subsequently, you would be transitioning to your dissertation project starting your third year and we'd be working together on that during your third and fourth year. In addition to the meetings where we're talking about research ideas and talking about articles and research topics uh, and presenting your own individual projects to each other, we also talk about professional development. So how do you interview for practicum interviews? Um, you know, what are your career goals and how can we shape your graduate school experience to make sure that you're, uh, you have a foot um, on the path towards success. Uh, so it, I really envision EMH as your home at Palo Alto University, a place where you are mentored and guided through the entire process uh, and a place where you can um, kind of talk about all the difficulties that you experience. So I welcome your application if anyone is interested uh, and thank you very much.